pregnant. You pussy. We are pregnant. No, we aren't. She is. You're not. Got it, boys. Stop with the we're pregnant stuff. It's probably her idea anyway. You got roped into it. And now she's pussified you to the point where you're uh, feeling her pain or her morning sickness. Forget it. Another thing that uh, goes in that category, the guys go to Lamaze classes. You know what the Lamaze classes are, right? It's that class where they train everybody on how to breathe and what to do in the delivery room. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding. Anytime I see a guy going to Lamaze classes, all I hear is the sound of meow, meow, meow. All right? And then the delivery room itself. I must say that um, I do not understand what purpose a man serves in a delivery room. It's messy. It's hectic. And if you think about it, I mean, the person who's having the baby, uh, their life is at risk. Do you really want to be in there when all that is going on? Running the risk that you're going to get in the way? Not me. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Delivery room should be just that. You know, they deliver. And it's like pizza. I pick it up when it's ready. Right? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. I knew you always fit, but I just didn't know it was to this extent. The Tom like it Show. The Tom Like is showing one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Danny on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Danny. I couldn't agree with you more. Do tell. Play the pussy music. Uh oh. I was that pussy. I was completely pussified and sucked into going into the uh, uh, delivery room, and that is a place for no man. Tell us why. It was the most disgusting thing I'd ever seen. It stank. It splashed. It got all over my feet. It, there was That's me right there. I hate to say it. I'm reformed now, but uh, at that time, I got sucked in hook, line, and sinker. There happened to be a problem with my son, so now 25 people come running in, and uh, they had to take him out to surgery, and that's just no place for, the, for somebody to be in the way, you know? No. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm doing nothing in there but being the whipping boy. You ask what purpose a man has in that room? The whipping boy. Yeah. Oh, whipping boy. The whipping boy. Why is that? Because uh, she was cursing and screaming and everything was my fault, and I can't book you know, because I'm not feeling her pain, Tom. Tough luck. Yeah. That's because that, that she has a cooch and you don't. Exactly. Uh, by the way, I am currently... Uh, Paying child support for that child. So oh. uh, another 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 word to the wise out there: avoid the room by oh gosh, wear a rubber, just wear it, just like Nike, just wear it. So you want uh, no part of having any more kids? No way. I mean, I, no way. I, I got I got dogs now, and I don't like them. Danny, hang on a second. Lee, what did you want to say to Danny here? Hey, Lee, I, my. I was in there for my first kid and my second kid just two weeks ago, and my first kid had a little bit of problems as well, and I wouldn't have traded it for, for anything just to be there and to be able to support my wife and, and, and everything like that. So it's, n it's nothing to, to take lightly, and it's an experience not to give up. I'll pass. I, I'd take anything to get that memory out of my head. I can't. I, can't, I could never do her again. Really? Oh, it was heinous. It was it was just heinous. Disgusting. And, I, and I've and I've said this to her before. She knows the deal. I'm like, if, you know, that would never happen again in a million years. If if I were if I were a little better educated in the process, like seeing the movies of a go, you, you you can't quite get there. You have to be there to understand how hideous it is. And and I I wouldn't. I don't know why you'd go back in there, bro. Oh yeah, well, it's awesome, man. It's just to to see the the power and the and this the 
the joy of, of it all. And this last one, I was even able to, to cut the cord and do all the other stuff. And it's just awesome. Oh, read the Hallmark. Read the Hallmark? I yeah. got to live, live in color, man. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. You're, you're, a, you're a better guy than I, because uh, I don't care what that bitch says. I am never going back in there. Yeah, that's, hey, a place for the, that's a place for the doctor and mom only. Wow. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yeah, Lee. Um, I, I, uh, I just want to thank you for, uh, for blessing us with not procreating. I bet. I think one of you is just funny. I, well, thank you for that. And uh, obviously, though, uh, you certainly do enjoy listening to the show. Um, yeah, channel surfing. Sometimes I, I um, deepen my convictions and and stuff. But yeah, I, I definitely. So you do like listening. You do like listening to the show. Huh? You do like listening. Um. Yes. Occasionally, I do. Yes. Well, then. And, maybe and if there I, were more I, of me, you could have even more shows to listen to. I, I enjoy arguing. So, anything to give me a chance to to have a different opinion and to strengthen my opinion, I enjoy. Oh, hang on a second, Danny. Thank you, Luke. What did you want to say here to Lee? Oh yeah, come on. This is just disgusting. Why would you want to be in there and see all that that gore and disgusting? I mean, come on. You don't want to go in there and watch some girl pop a baby out of. I mean, that's just disgusting. Uh, I got two beautiful daughters. They're awesome. It doesn't matter. I mean, come on. You don't want to go there, and you don't want to look at that. I mean, how can you go back down there? You know, how can you find that part of a, the woman's body attractive after seeing that? Just dis, that's just disgusting. It makes no difference to me, man. It's all good. It's mine. Yeah, it's yours. But I mean, who the hell wants it after seeing that? Uh, me. And why is that? What's that? And why would you? Why would you want something like that? That's just gross. Oh, uh, that's why I married her, man. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, okay, you married her because you wanted to see some gore coming out of her. Yeah, I mean, come on. No, I got, I got, I got two beautiful kids, and that's just part of it. It's part of being a dad, man. Going in there and seeing all that makes you feel like you're more of a dad. I mean, can't you just see them when they're in, you know, the shape you're going to see them in the rest of their life? I mean, I don't want to see that happen with a... Baby coming out all bloody and all that, and you know, cutting the umbilical cord. What, what kind of power does that give you? I mean, why would you want to do that? I, I, I donated it. I donated half of it. I deserve to be there for all of it. That's true, but why would you want to be? You can be. Well, why would you want to be? Get in if you don't want what comes out. Yeah, but I mean, you do want what comes out, but why do you want to see that? Is the question. It I don't care matter. about what you it's want just, to see. Is this part of it, man? That's not. I mean, what's it? How's that part of the experience? Seeing something disgusting like that? It's not disgusting. How is that it's natural, natural, man? What's that? I said it's natural. Well, yeah, it's natural, but I mean, so it's going to see going by a car crash, but it doesn't mean I want to go in there and see all the blood and gore. Why did someone take a dump? Is natural too. Exactly. No, that's true. You know, that's just disgusting. Okay, so I can stop at a car crash, and you know. I can see that or whatever to help people out, but you're not helping out in there, you know? You, why would you want to witness that gore? That's like me just stopping by a car crash to see it because... You know, if, if you caused the car crash, you'd be there. And uh, I caused the car crash, so I'm there. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I'd go up there by choice just to see it happening. You know, see what's well, happening. No, you caused it. If you caused the car crash, you'd want to be there. You'd want to help out. I might want to help. I caused the car crash, I want to be there. That's true. Yeah, but why would you want to give witness to something that disgusting? I mean, how can you even be attracted to that anymore? That's my question. I mean, that's just sick. I mean, do you have some crazy fetish or something like that with sex? I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, how can you even possibly want to go back downstairs? You know, that's not enjoyable. How can you possibly think it would be? I'm just trying to find this logic here of how you could ever possibly want to have sex or even look at that area again after seeing that just disgust disgusting act. Isn't that the only thing that comes out of those things that come out of them roughly? Right exactly. Do you watch that too? Don't thought about it. Don't stick it in. Do you get videotape of that? Yeah, there's, I mean, all the, there's all this other crap that goes on down there all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you want to witness you know, that? You know, you go down there when she's on it monthly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you want to witness that? Hey, man, that's a bloody. Oh man, I scored. I got extra. That's disgusting. That ain't no big deal. It's clean now. Right. Don't up and clean. All right, Luke, Lee, thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Stacy on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, I, I want to ask you a question because I'm listening to this. 
Yeah. And I've never called any of these shows before, but I happen to be on the freeway listening to you. And I, I have to ask your opinion on this. Yeah. These guys that are giving these comments to you, like, dude, that's disgusting, and how could you? Do you do you feel like these are really intelligent, solid guys who are making these statements? I don't know. I didn't give them an IQ test, but I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I would not want to watch uh, open heart surgery. I would not want to watch brain surgery. You know, I would what? not want to watch somebody having their leg amputated. Okay, yeah. these are all natural, wonderful things that the no, doctors no, no, can no. do. Natural, wonderful oh, hey. Things. Hey, wait a minute. If you have brain cancer and they do brain surgery and they fix your brain, that's a beautiful thing, okay? You may not want to watch it, but uh, it's a beautiful well, a thing. A lot of people might think that's kind of cool. I don't know. You know, look, my husband was with me, but I didn't. Let, he didn't watch. He just sat and held my hand and looked the other way. I didn't. Ugh. It wasn't a big deal for him, you know. He just. I didn't want him to actually watch the whole process. Let your mother come in there or your sister. I wouldn't want to be in there. What? Let your mother go in there or your sister. I wouldn't want to be in there. You know, that's so weird because I, I would never want my mother in there. Isn't that bizarre? But that's Why not? Me. Why wouldn't you want your mother in there? But I'll tell you Your mother's been through it before. Let me, let me tell you something else. Yeah, right. Let me tell you something she else. She has. Um, it's not always that disgusting, screaming, thrusting, bloody mess. Sometimes it's just... It's just a thing, you know? You get the drugs, you push the baby out, and then it's over. Sometimes it's not some huge ordeal. But you don't know until you're in the middle of it. Well, that's not true. Yeah, that's wait, not true. You, know, don't, you don't know in advance? Honey, and let me tell you something else. Lamaze is a joke, okay? Not I agree. Everyone does Lamaze. I know everyone does. I, dear, I know everyone yeah. doesn't do it. Okay. I never okay. said everyone but, uh, does. Okay, and I'm just saying, you know... Totally entitled to your opinion. I respect guys that say, you know what, I don't want to think of my wife in that way anymore. You know, I mean, I don't want to think of my wife in that way. Every time I look at her, I don't want to see that kind of image in my head, the pain, the blood, whatever. I get that. But these guys that are calling up and talking like they're in high school drinking a beer, sitting in the back of a truck in, in Topanga, calling you up. Maybe they are. You know, so they what? really are. They're still, uh, they're still people. They still have opinions. Honey, of course. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, maybe you can't... Well, I'm, like I'm not crazy. living in a trailer or a truck in Topanga Canyon or anywhere else. But yes, I'm telling no, you, I... I initiating controversy. Uh, but I'm telling you, I would not want to be in there whether I initiate controversy or not. <gasps> okay, well, that's cool, but you're not having kids. you damn straight. But if I was, the last place I would be is the delivery room. Right. Okay. The last place. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I get it. You know, I get it. But I still think that, you know, use a little more discretion when you uh, when you have people calling your show to support. What do you mean? I mean, uh, discretion. What? I should give everybody an IQ test and no, eliminate you, people oh, below a certain oh, IQ. No. <laughs> Who is this Hitler calling in? What, what are you talking about here? Well, that's cute. Listen, you can tell how someone is when they call in, can't you? Don't you have people that screen these for you? That, that doesn't. You cannot give somebody an IQ test in thirty seconds. <laughs> Babe, you keep pulling up the IQ test. No one's talking IQ test here. You you seem to have a problem with the intelligence level of the callers. I absolutely have a problem. But then, how would you test them? What? Well, listen to the way they speak. So, in other words, if they give an opinion we don't agree with, they're probably morons. stupid. They are total. Morons. Mm -hmm. They probably think that Hustler magazine is as a gynecologist uh, journal. Isn't it? I mean, you know, these are not guys that you should really use as the weight of an argument. Tell you what, a gynecologist could do worse than relying on Hustler. Look how clear those photos are. How well lit, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. You betcha, baby. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Do men belong in the delivery room when kids are being delivered? Our letter writer says, no, I agree with him. Let's say hello to Philip on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yo, Tommy. Yo, baby. How you doing, sir? Pretty damn good. Listen, I don't think you should give uh, your callers IQ tests at all. My gal and I, we love listening to your show and listening to all the idiots that call up. Yeah, why would you want to uh, eliminate them? But you eliminate the smart people too soon sometimes, I think. 
Well, Yo. well, one day we'll do a critique of the program. But right now... Well, anyway, what I'm saying, what I want to say is that absolutely you should be in the delivery room when the baby is being born. I have a two-and-a-half-year-old boy, and I would have given an arm to be in that room, but things weren't working out with the mother for me to be there, and it wasn't uncomfortable. It was, it was uncomfortable, so I wasn't in there. Why weren't but things working out? It was just, uh, we, you know, we weren't going to be together at the time, you know, and it, was, it had moved out of being an intimate relationship, and now it's a, a relationship where we're co-parenting and we have 50-50 of the child, and, and he's a rock. Co-parenting. Oh, my God. I know, dude. That was, word makes me sick. I know. It makes me sick, too. It wasn't we're co-parenting. Right, but at least I, I have 50% custody of the child, and I'm not paying a penny of child support, and I love the boy. Well, not, not paying a penny is the good part. Right. Then also, I get the I get the benefit of being with my son, and I have a beautiful, wonderful fiance who totally jams with the situation and is gro and is rocking. But I was thinking that these men that call up and to say, "Oh God, it's gross and it's disgusting." I mean, it's it's just an example of how disconnected we are from the actual human experience and how we aren't aren't responsible for our actions. You know, you you need you need the bread. You put the flour in. You put the yeast in. You put the bun in the oven. Why can't you be there to take the bun out? Pal, if you were having heart surgery. Well, heart surgery is one thing. What's the difference? You know, heart, That's part of the human experience. No, well, heart surgery is not necessarily a joyful event until you recover from it. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, seeing all that blood and uh, other uh, 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 effusive uh, 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 spurt out there, that, you know what? That's not so exciting or delicious either. You know what I'm well, saying? The well, finished you know, product. Look, I'll, I understand. If you want to have a kid and the finished product is there, great. Yeah. But as we say, no one wants to watch sausage being made, you know? Well, but the thing is, is in, in the, con in the uh, conception of the child, there is fluid exchange. It's not necessarily blood. Nothing and like what you see when the kid is being born. Come on now. Well, oh, come on. But, it's a, you know, it's, it's got to be one of the most joyous occasions. I mean, and what do you mean? Come on, if you're a real man, what if you're stuck in a situation where a woman can't get to a doctor and you need to step up to the plate. Well, then you do what you have to do. I mean, by right. my God, somebody might have their leg cut off, and you might need to be there to put them on a stretcher. Look, I understand that. But right. if you don't have to be there, why would you want to be? Well, because, you know, like I said, you put the bun in the oven, there's nothing smells as good as fresh bread. Let me tell you something, pal. When I, put the, when I put the dough in the oven, the bun comes out. There's no blood. There's no placenta. There's no screaming or cursing. Uh, there's none of that. There's no pain. There's no danger. There's no possibility of brain damage or other damage. But that's living, Tom. I mean, you've chosen not to have children, and you know, and that's a respectable that's a respectable way to be. Right. But come on, I mean, if you're going to go if you're going to go into having a child, go jump in both feet first, get into it, get into uh, the whole experience with your lady. Great. So if your kid needed brain surgery, you would be there the whole time. Absolutely. Really. If it's my son, absolutely. You would be in the operating room. I would I would want to be the I would want to be the dude operating if I could. Oh my God! Hang on a second, Rich. What did you want to say to Philip here? Dude, what's wrong with that guy? What, what are you talking about? Dude, nobody wants to see that stuff. I I disagree, Rich. I, I don't know what your problem is, buddy. All my buddies are doing the same the same thing to me. Oh yeah, you want to you want to be there? And I went there. They gave her an episiotomy. Started hacking on her, dude. That was the worst experience I had in my life. Well, that well, that's that's you. That's that's all you. I mean, I'm sure if I mean if it got nasty and bloody, a buddy of mine getting nasty. There were complications, and they they had to do an emergency C-section. At that point, that's when the doctor said, "Hey, buddy, you might this might be your time to exit. This might be your time to split." Of course, they I mean if there's times that it's appropriate and everything's going right. Yeah, of course. Why not be in there, experience yeah, the joy, the be with is, your lady? You don't, you don't know if everything's going to go right ahead of time. You're like, you're, you're waiting for it to happen when you're in of, there. I mean, of the, course the, you the, don't know. If, you, you never, you, I mean, you wake, do you wake up in the morning? Do you know if stuff's going to go right? You never know. Yeah. I don't, I, you know ahead of time you're going in there and you're going to see something that you, you probably don't want to see. You're going to see, so well, it depends on what you want to see, Rich. Yeah, well, if that's the kind of like looking at come on, you come on, right come on, ahead. watch your mouth, all right, please. No, 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 Rich, it's just there's, I think there's two different kinds of men. I think maybe you and your friends are punk chumps that can't step up to the plate and, you know, enjoy the responsibility of true fatherdom, or, you know, there's people who can get into it and, and be there right by their woman's side, hold her hand and, and take care of business. I guess if you call, you know, me a punk just because I don't 
care to look at my wife being, you know, all spread out and something coming out. That's that's your problem. Well, no, it's a matter. It's just a matter of stepping up to the plate and being by her side. Well, I can be by her side all I want. It doesn't mean I want to watch it. Well, good thing that you're not the one giving childbirth then. <laughs> Neither are you. I know, but I mean, you know, if you know, but but somebody's got to do it. By the you way, know, you so... didn't say we're pregnant, did you, Philip? No, oh, I, I bet he did. I bet no, he did. No, no, meow, no. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are totally not meowing me, man. There we go. Good five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Mike on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Love the show. Thank you. Hey, uh, to me, it's just natural to be there. I went with my wife to all her uh, appointments and uh, saw the ultrasound and would listen to the baby's heartbeat. And to be there, to me, was just natural. I loved it. You know, when it's like your child, you don't think how gross or anything it is. I wouldn't want to watch anybody else's child being born. But to watch mine and everything, I thought it was great. I loved it. Really? Yeah. Hang on a second. Cynthia, you don't agree. Why not? No, I don't. I am a woman who has had no children, but I have watched childbirth. And I can only say to women that your head is on the wrong end of the pillow because if you're down there watching it, it is the most repulsive thing anyone could ever want to see. There's stuff squirting out. There's the head pulsating. It is absolutely disgusting. Anyone that could enjoy that is unbelievable. It's not technically enjoying watching all that, but you get to see your child being born. And since you haven't gone through it, you wouldn't understand. But it's just the thought of your child coming out. Besides the doctor, I was the first one to see my daughter. And to me, it was beautiful. It is repulsive. The whole (laughs) concept of the child coming out of the woman's vagina is just repulsive to anyone. I mean, when you see it, yes, it may be your child. It may be a beautiful thing to watch a child being born. But the actual physical visual effects of it is not a beautiful thing. It is very disgusting looking. It's more amazing to think that a child could come out. I was just in awe that when I saw my wife pregnant that my child was in there. Then to, So to see my child coming out, you know, to me it really didn't occur that there was blood and stuff, which I guess I was lucky because it wasn't you that bad of missed, my wife. You must have missed your feet because when I was in there witnessing this with my niece who asked me to be in there, I mean, there was I had to back up so that the blood and the fluid would not land on my feet, which it still did. Yeah. It is it is absolutely repulsive. I mean, I like I said, I've never had a child, but I did witness it, and it is not a very good-looking thing. The, Mike, the Mike, act of childbirth is perfect. Mike, but, uh, let me get into Mike. Mike, thank you for the call. Hang on a second, Cynthia. Hugo, what do you want to say to Cynthia? Hey, I just want to say, I was there when my wife had her C-session. They put this little curtain over her like to cover her from her neck down. Man, I stood up, and I watched them cut her open. I watched them cut the water bag. I seen them take my daughter out. It was the greatest thing in the world. That the was greatest. in her stomach. That was not a pulsating vagina that has a head coming out of it with fluid that, squirting seeing, out of just, there as well. Seeing, seeing the life that comes out of a human body, it's like never. I mean, it's the greatest thing in the world. Oh. It's the greatest thing in the world. I don't know how anybody could think that. And I'm a woman that you think would find that a, to be a beautiful thing. I thought it was absolutely disgusting. Disgusting? You were born this way, so you're calling yourself disgusting? The, the act of this is childbirth you came out. is repulsive. I'm oh, not no saying way. childbirth it's, itself. A child is a wonderful thing. It's a gift that we all It's the greatest thing in the world. We all came out like this. We all came out one way or another. We all came out the same way. Of it is repulsive. I'm sorry. No. It's absolutely repulsive. Think about no. it. No. There's nothing to think about. Nothing to think about. This is the way it happens. This is the way it is. Natural. It's the greatest thing in the world. Witness it. It's the greatest thing in the world. I do, do it, it again. I would do it again if I had to. I would do it again for the sake of the person that I did it for, but it is absolutely the most repulsive looking thing when you're down there on the receiving end that I have ever laid eyes on. Hey man, That's it's my it's, opinion, <laughs> and wow. and you find very few women that will be honest and come out and say it. Most women are laying on the other end; they don't actually see it coming out; they only feel it. Yeah, they see it too because they got those mirrors up there, man. I've been there before. It's they see it. All right, Hugo, Cynthia, thank you for the calls. 
1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. This situation caused my divorce. I firmly believe it. I was in the delivery room. My ex-wife now pushed and pushed and shot a turd out. And I could never go down there again. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even look at it. I couldn't even look at her the same way. Wow, that's hardcore. Yeah, you got it. It's not a pretty sight. I love my kids, but that is just one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. There was there was stuff spraying out all over the place. Hang on a second, Ron. Alex, you don't agree with Ron. Why not? Hello, Tom. I just want to say I love your show. Thank you. I just got to say, I have two children, and I was there both times. I think these people are not seeing the whole picture on this. They're just looking at the actual physical, the blood coming out. Anytime you look at blood, it's going to be disgusting. Anytime you see that kind of thing, it's disgusting. But you got to you rise above all that. Do you still I was go there, and I saw both my children come out. Do you still I go down the there? Cord. Do you still go down there, my man? Every time. Oh, man. See, because you can't. The people who can't see above that and see the beauty, the, the beauty of the children being born. You got the ones you, are never going to be able to enjoy that. you got an iron gut. <laughs> it's my wife. I love her. My children, I love them. See you later, Tom. Thank you both. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. What is it about this show that people just want to reveal their innermost dirty secrets? I don't know. It's like the, the Tom Likas confession. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Scott on a cell phone. You're on the Tom like his show. Hey Tom, I think you uh, hit this one on the head. There is no rational reason for any guy to be in the delivery room while they're ha having their kids born. Um, I got two kids. I got the greatest wife, greatest kids in the world. I was in there for the first one because I got talked into it. Went in for the second time because I thought maybe I missed something the first time around about how bitching it was and how great it was. This sucks. I mean, that's the worst thing that you can go and experience. You hate it. Oh, absolutely hate it. Hey, you know what? I hunt and fish. I'd rather clean fish and, and skin a deer than go watch that. And that is, oh, it's just not something that anybody needs to experience except the mother and the doctor. Hang on a second, Scott. Brian, you don't agree. Why not? No, I don't agree at all. You know, I've, I've had four kids. I've been in there for two of them uh, coming out, and I wasn't allowed in because I was so young for the other two. And I tell you what, when my wife came out with the child and I wasn't in there, my first question was, uh, did you get to pick from a, a choice of a bunch of them, or did, did you get to, is this the best one you could find? Or it, It's better to be in there to experience you're there with your wife or your girlfriend and you get to see that birth, that child coming out of that person, and that's the greatest thing you'll ever see. I don't right. understand you know, these guys can't see that. Well, if you want to look at something, I mean, look at the child when it's done and clean and, and beautiful, but when it's coming out of her vagina, and it's just, there's nothing pretty about it. It's just not, uh, uh, I mean, it's a wonderful well, you're, thing you're, for you're the child. At pretty, not, you're looking at pretty the wrong pretty way. To, to look at that thing. You know, it's, you're looking at pretty all wrong. It's not a matter of, of looks. It's not like looking at some hot babe walking down the street. No, what you're no, looking no. at is you're looking at your child being born, the woman that you care about, so hopefully. If you care producing, about it, you producing want to just, your if offspring. You want to support her, producing your offspring. Go home and clean the house or make her dinner. And then, and then when the baby comes out, you, you get to you're be the one that comes to the floor. They get those tongs you and pull them out by their ears. You get to be the one that makes it cry when it first comes out. You get to be there for all that. Why would you want to miss that? Why would why would you gonna play in here and to hear him crying? Do you want to help him and, 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 and do something good for him? Wait until you can do something, that. but you're not gonna do anything good for him while they're sitting in there, their legs well, up in the air, and giving them the only, only and crap flying all over the place. It's gross. It's gross, you man. It's you gross. Your wife's hand. My, my wife went in, and unfortunately for her, she ended up having natural childbirth because she she couldn't have any drugs at the time. And I was there through the whole thing, holding her hand, talking to her, telling her what a great she, job she was doing. And my little girl came out, and it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw in my entire life.